Hi everyone, welcome to our online learning platform SP Lessons Competitive Exam. So today we are going to discuss about the most important topic uh, that is called parts of speech. So we all are know that the importance of parts of speech in English language. So let's discuss about some basic uh, things about part of speech. A sentence is a combination of different words. It is only because of these words that a sentence becomes meaningful and understandable by others the sentence is a combination of different words these words can therefore be called different parts of speech we can shortly call parts of speech as pos or pos let's check the parts of speech uh, by uh, some images yeah let's go into the topic the various parts of speech are nouns pronouns adjectives verb adverbs preposition interjection conjunction so let's discuss about one by one first one is nouns words used to make the mention of different persons places different animals and different things so generally we will use nouns to identify our words used to make the mention of different persons names other whether places names animals names things names places names so let's get into one example in the following examples the highlighted parts are nouns this is my cat here cat is a noun Rita is my sister. Here Rita is noun. Next one is pronouns. The words which help in replacing nouns are called pronouns. So we will use pronouns instead of nouns. These pronouns are also abbreviated as PRO. A word that substitutes for a noun or noun phrase is called clearly pronoun so let's check some pronouns there are several types of pronouns subject pronouns object pronouns possessive adjectives possessive pronouns in the following examples the highlighted parts are pronouns parul stays in australia with her family here parul is noun and her is pronoun as we have mentioned noun pronouns are an opposite words pronoun is used instead of noun this is his book here his is pronoun so let's check another one verbs describes specific physical actions and also verbs will convey an action and occurrence are a state of being in the following examples the highlighted parts are verbs the dogs are snoring and sleeping under the tree here we are explaining one action performed by anything those are snoring and sleeping the team members are singing here singing is a verb next one is adverbs words which help the readers in describing verbs adjectives are adverbs an expression that modifies a verb adjective to another adverb determiner class preposition or sentence the adverb is usually placed before the main verb adverbs of frequency are used to express time how often something occurs the highlighted parts are adverb from the below sentences those are the puppy is very cute here very is adverb she completed her homework slowly here slowly is an adverb and the next type is adjectives words that help modify nouns or pronouns are can be called as adjectives its semantic role is to change information given by the noun my brother was looking very handsome today here handsome means an adjective 
the fox is a clever animal here we are discussing about the nature of the person or an animal so that is called adjective prepositions words which shows some kind of link between a noun and a pronoun is called prepositions they act to connect the people objects time and locations of a sentence so let's check the frog was in the middle of the puddle here in is the preposition the soldiers fought the battle bravely here it is called preposition the second one is conjunctions words which form a link between two or more words phrases and classes these are called conjunctions the action or an instance of two or more events or things occurring at the same point in time or space that is called conjunctions conjunctions are considered to be invariable grammar particle the student and outside and wait, waited for his classmate here and is called preposition uh, conjunctions another one example is the student were quiet while the teacher was present here while is conjunction so last one in this part of speech section is interjection which represent a feeling of emotion can be called interjections used to express a particular emotion or sentiment used to express a particular emotion or sentiment like strong feeling or sudden emotion like surprise joy excitement disgust enthusiasm sorrow approval calling attention well this is the wrong answer here well is the interjection in this sentence and the finally wow i cleared my mathematics test with flying marks so uh, here wow is the interjection as it is expressed as a surprise joy and excitement part so here i have explained just the basic uh, terms about parts of speech i have uh, not get into very deeply uh, i will explain each and every part of speech that is noun pronouns interjection pronouns conjunctions prepositions adverbs adjectives verbs very clearly very neatly in our next session one by one very clearly uh, hope you all are enjoy this session